Good morning, everyone. I'm Mr. Bordelon. I'm Dr. Terrell. And welcome, welcome to Newsflash. Ooh, Dr. Terrell, this tea is so hot. Tea, speaking of tea, there's a lot of tea going around in this school. Let's go check it out. I'm here to make a splash on teacher's tea. One teacher has a busted ankle and is not supposed to be jogging. Sure. <laughs> I heard Mr. Seth Wilbur's getting married this week summer. I heard that Mr. Bordelon and Mr. Wilbur are secretly BFFs. <laughs> So there's a rumor that Coach Juan is teaching all of physics, like honors and everything, and Mr. Harris is teaching AP Bio next year. I heard Miss Nolan decided it's too much trouble to put students in the show, so she's doing a one-woman show in the fall. So I have a lot to reveal about Buzz Pangolin involving Teacher T because, first of all, um, I was against my will nominated as the leader of Bus Pangolin and it caused me a lot of anxiety. But then as it turns out, no one looked at me as the leader of Bus Pangolin. Um, all the other teachers seemed to not notice the true leader of the bus. And in particular, there was one person who felt the need to attempt awkward conversations and also discuss what pangolins are, even though said person had already looked up on their phone what pangolin was but just wanted to try to start a conversation with me about it even though i was clearly busy with my leadership duties at bus pangolin and then our bus had to stop inappropriately on napoleon avenue to let someone off of bus pangolin and all in all pangolin was a disaster that's all we just literally switched places i wonder who i would switch places with uh, let's check out what our colleagues had to say hmm. If you were going to switch places with another teacher at Sacred Heart, what teacher would it be? Kelly Quest. Oh! Mm -hmm. If you could switch places with any teacher, who would it be? Uh, Mr. Borderline. Psychology is so cool. Uh, I think it would probably have to be probably Miss Brown, so I could be in the dance studio all day. Miss Dean. <laughs> Miss Dean, if you could switch places with any teacher, who would it be? Miss Sackler. Uh, I would switch with Mrs. Schroff because she's tickling those ivories, doing a good job. With any teacher? Or like administration. Um, you know what, I just want to be for there. I would switch with Miss Brown so that I could fulfill oh, okay. all of my dancing dreams. Oh. Of teachers that I would probably want to be, yes, I think I would like to switch places with Ms. Boyd, because really? I would love to walk down the hall and watch everybody kind of scatter, <laughs> which is, that would probably be one high on the list. Uh, I think Ms. Schroth, I'd like to be Ms. Schroth because she can just like, oh, let's go run a marathon, y'all. It's like Tuesday, like, let's go do it. And she can just put, turn it on, not with the boot right now, but normally, so Ms. Schroth. Dr. Terrell, don't you think we'd fit right into the Met Gala? Oh, I do, Thursday evenings are special in Lincoln Center, New York. Absolutely. Let's see what our new fashion police have to say. Sorry, Trisha, it's our turn now. Hi, I'm Miss Elaine. And I'm Miss Raymond. And we are here to do fashion police because the Met Gala was on Monday night. Do you want to dig right into it? I'm ready when you are. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so I feel like first we have to, the queen of the Met Gala. Miss Blake Lively. Blake Lively. I mean, come on. Truly. I mean, the, the moment where they unrolled the dress and she went from... The gloves. The gloves from the blue to the, or the rose gold to the blue. What was that? It gave me like Fabulous. a sleeping beauty moment when they're changing the color of her dress. That's like, I want it to be blue. I want it to be pink. I want and then Ryan, can we talk about how Ryan looked at her? Yes. He literally stood there gawking. Very Obsessed. Sweet. I mean, I think they won. Uh, duh. And when I does she not win? I think we're on the same page with that one, okay. right? Agreed. Getting to Kim Kardashian. I'm a little sad. <laughs> I can't lie. You know, I'm trying to follow with what the theme was of the Met Gala and Gilded where her, Age, like Marilyn I, Monroe. Yeah, I get she was trying to do the Marilyn Monroe situation, the happy birthday, Mr. President, but I wasn't I wasn't feeling it. I was a little underwhelmed, I think. 
Me too, I would say so. She's already done the bleach blonde hair She's too. Done the bleach I'm blonde. like it feels, yawning. Feels very 2017. Yeah. Kim. Do I think Sean Mendez? I like Sean Mendez. I thought he looked fire. <laughs> if, I mean, mwah. He looked so fine. You know what he reminded me of though? And I do, I love Sean Mendez. He gave me very much like Prince Gaston from. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. You have to. Prince Gaston with a full, like somewhere between that and like Bridgerton. Okay. Like, he yeah. Was very but like, Bridgerton, is that bad? No, not bad. Not bad at all. I was just trying to place. Okay. I can see it. It gave me those visuals, you know, that moment. Kylie! Kylie Jenner. No! Okay, you guys, you know what she reminded me of? Okay, so first seeing her, I'm like, okay, what? What is this? You can't, What's she happening? didn't make a decision. I don't know. She did it. The baseball cap? The, the baseball cap. The massive wedding dress. The, the, you know what she, oh my God, you know what she reminded me of? The parent trap with Lindsay Lohan. You remember her mom, <laughs> had, her mom had the wedding boutique, and in the beginning of the movie, the models were trying on the wedding dresses, yeah. and there's a model who has the white, like, top hat with right, the veil right. situation. That is what, she, it's like a failed version of, of that. that. I agree. I'm just like, Kylie, like you can't make a decision on your son's name. You can't make a decision if you're trying to be baseball. It's, I'm crying for you. It, I'm literally crying for you. It was a lot. And that's, that's it for fashion, fashion please. please. See you in the studio. <laughs> Bye. Let's pass the mic to someone from New York. New York, concrete jungles where dreams are made of. Let's pass the mic to uh, Lurch. Let's see who you'll pass the mic to. I'm passing the mic to somebody who's graduating this month. I'm passing the mic to the biggest Britney Spears fan in the faculty. I'm gonna pass the mic to the person who was a top 10 finalist for Teacher of the Year in New Orleans, but also the winner in our hearts. I'm passing the mic to someone who takes outfit repeating to a whole nother level. I'm passing the mic to my translator. I'm passing the mic to my bestie. Woo. I am passing the mic to a teacher who will not get rid of Go Formative. Passing it to the person who witnessed the birds eating the Easter eggs in the front of the school. I'm passing the mic to some to someone who really needs help with math. <laughs> passing the phone to someone who has a song written about them. I'm gonna pass the mic to the teacher who started Teacher T. I'm passing the mic to the anchors. It's that time again for question of the week. My favorite teacher memory is sophomore year in Dr. Jacoby's classroom when the ceiling panel fell on me and Dr. Jacoby had to come over and um, move the ceiling panel and then proceeded to reenact the whole situation just so she could get a picture. My favorite teacher moment from this year is when we asked Ms. Seiler for some freshman tea and she actually offered us the liquid. One time after lunch, I came back in the room and, to my A4 class and there were just completely different class in the room. So, I mean, my A4 is just such trickster. Um, one time I hid behind Mr. Nealis' door um, and then when he came back from break, I said boo and I scared him so bad that he turned around without saying anything and he disappeared for like a good 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, so my favorite teaching memory would have to be for Halloween when um, the humanities department dressed up as the humanities for Halloween. Um, it was so fun. Um, Miss Sarah got very creative and we just all had a really good time. So, yeah. My favorite teacher memory is when I got to race Mr. Wilbur in turkey costumes. Miss Lane, please insert a clip. Thank you. Okay, so the first time Mr. Dakota was like in class with us, all of us were so scared he was gonna be so mean. And then he was like showed us a slideshow of like who he was and he put like his like yearbook picture in it and it was this picture of a guy right next to him and he just points to it and goes, That's really tragic and like <laughs> points to the next slide and you're like, he's okay. So one time the A4 uh, Algebra 2 class decided we were gonna have perpendicular learning and we turned all the desks sideways on the floor and Mr. Ducote came in and he kinda just stared at us. <laughs> My favorite 
favorite teacher memory is when I was in the student lounge doing my work and Miss Diggerpont walks by and takes the sticker off her apple and puts it on my hand and tells me to never say that she never gave anything to me. During freshman year Spanish with Vacious, I was trying to say the Princess Diaries to answer a question and instead of saying diarias, I said diarias and I've never lived it down. Your teacher moment, um, gifting Sinclair Nolan um, a karaoke microphone, and then she proceeded to use it in everyone's class. Okay, my favorite teacher memory was when we were in homeroom, and Lillian hid in Mr. Borland's closet, and we asked him to go get a fork, and then when he went to the closet, Lillian jumped out, and Mr. Borland jumped and was scared, and it's all on video. <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you next week, same time, same place for the senior show on News Flash.